one thin American dime and a paper bag. It's not that difficult. Hi, I'm Don Vidler along with my sister Beverly. You know, for over 50 years we've been selling popcorn for 10 cents out of our same classic machine. The machine has not changed, and neither has the popcorn. I mean, the popcorn's fresh, but it's the same popcorn. I mean, it's the same type of popcorn, but, uh, oh well, you know what I mean. Apparently, this ancient mechanical wonder is sometimes too difficult for the youth of today, who can only manipulate smartphones, Kindles, touchscreen tablet computers, and other digital devices. Oftentimes, they can't figure out a real machine, and we see more popcorn on the floor than in the bags. So we'd like to demonstrate the proper method to obtain a delicious bag of Vidler's popcorn. First, remove one bag, normally in the slot here, and place it under the chute. Once the bag is in place, insert one American dime. There is no need to push a button or shake the machine. As soon as the dime drops, the popcorn will start to dispense. Wait for the pleasant whirring noise, and within seconds, you'll have a bag of delicious and semi-nutritious popcorn, as ours has no buttery topping and is only lightly salted. Apologies to our good customers and neighbors from Canada, but unlike the American coin, the Canadian dime is actually magnetic. Wicca Google that on the Interpedia kids, and you'll see that I'm right, and that magnetic attraction will always jam the machine. Here is the incorrect way. We can't caution you enough. Bag first, then dime. If not, you will be subject to humiliation and punishment. A bag of popcorn from Vidler's. Do it right or suffer the consequences. Find this and 74,999 other useful items at Vidler's, the largest five and dime store in the world, located in downtown East Aurora, New York. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube and invite your friends to watch. Leave a comment and tell us which products you'd like to see reviewed in future episodes. Thanks for watching and see you next week.